Hey guys, so here we are in Tokyo and back there you can sort of see Tokyo train station. It's being renovated at the moment but just to give you an idea where you are there's Tokyo train station and then over here there's this which is now known as the Imperial Palace but if you'd come here 140 years ago they would have still been calling this the Shogun's Castle but of course they would have been speaking in Japanese so before Meiji before uh, 1868 this place was a castle a very serious castle with a Shogun living in it and a whole bunch of samurai running around the place and then after or well, during the Meiji period uh, the Shogun obviously was gone and they the Emperor moved here from Kyoto and built his palace here so now it's known as the palace grounds the Imperial Palace in Palace grounds the Imperial Palace itself where the Emperor lives you can't actually get access to but the grounds are around it you can so you can see from this map here that this is sort of like an island it's basically surrounded by a moat that has a few bridges across the moat and then a series of walls fairly typical castle design you would have seen my other castle videos on the castles playlist the castle and old buildings playlist so it's a fairly classic design so we've already come in through one wall there where there would have been a bridge across the moat and a gate um, so we've already come in through one which has given us this big open space I mean obviously there would have been buildings and you know Shogun's friends and other high-ranking people who lived in these areas before but they're not here now of course so here's an example of one of the gates but these gates and these bridges are, and moats there's a series of them typical castle design one after another and previously on each of these corners there would have been we can see that sort of like a pedestal there on top of that would have been a structure that would have looked like this so there's actually 19 of these and they're sort of watch houses, guard houses and storerooms so they would have been full of weapons and samurai and stuff. Uh, 19 of them there was so anytime you see a sort of a pedestal type shape like that would have had one of those buildings. But what I wanted to show you, this is sort of interesting, is I want to show you a couple of things. I want to show you the old style uh, castle design which I find sort of interesting some of you guys might find interesting but also the fact that because the Emperor lives here it's a modern fort with these policemen and their police cars and the modern technology and the modern weapons and there's the old uh, you know guardhouse samurai guardhouse there in the background um, so it's sort of an interesting combination it's, you know it was a really serious castle with the Shogun living in it um, but for the last 140 years, it's still a very serious um, castle with the uh, emperor living in it. So here's a good example of the old doors. So if you go to an old castle in Japan, you'll find that it's a series, one after another, of serious walls and old castle um, entrances and walls. Oh yeah, look at this. This is a museum. The joy of unfolding painting albums. Unfolding painting albums the joy of them unfortunately no cameras allowed guys so we couldn't go in there that day I'm sorry I know you'll be disappointed uh, but weren't allowed but anyway more castle walls so you find as you walk into the grounds typical castle most castles are the same you walk in there's another wall another wall another wall another and and obviously these would have been full of big heavy gates and this is actually a guardhouse um, which would have been full of samurai um, and there's one of these at each of the gates each of the main gates in various sizes so it was an important gate that had a big one of these and if it was a less imp important one it had a smaller one and the guards were in there obviously on you know on duty and rotating who was up on the wall keeping watch and who was in there trying to keep warm I guess So you can see a really big one here. This one here was a, a, one of the major entrances. Now there's the major entrance over there. Big serious wall. Look at the size of the stones and the way they're all put together. And this one actually had 100 samurai in it. 100 guards. 
guess they weren't all samurai, huh? But there was 100 guards living in that building. Guarding that main entrance. Quite amazing, isn't it? So some of them would be out on duty, and I guess if something happened, they'd call out, and these guys would come running. So you can see this one, the old wooden, the old wooden gates get destroyed by earthquakes and fire and bombing during World War Two and stuff like that. So there's, you know, a few of them are missing. You can see where it used to be here, big wooden gate. But again, interesting. There's the old style way of protecting them. Behind that fence, there's the emperor. Now we can't go in there and the way it's protected now is with a policeman sitting in a police car he was there for a, I was there for a couple of hours so was he and cameras up on the walls so just I just find it interesting that the old style way of protecting the important people and the modern way of in, 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 protecting the important people in parallel quite interesting so here's another one of those guard houses at a big gate now on one side of those walls of course was a sheer wall that the stones were all put together really carefully so you couldn't climb them and then on the inside of those walls you had these steps so that the guys could run up those steps and be on top of the wall and fight down, attack down at the people below them, you know, fire arrows and throw spears and stuff. Later times I guess shoot guns. And there's another defensive strategy too, is that the roads aren't straight, they're zigzag, which means that if you come up one of these roads, there's, you imagine there's people up on top of these walls all the way around you, shooting down at you with arrows and stuff, archers and so on, you know. So that's another typical Japanese castle defense. None of the roads, are uh, paths are square, they're all curved and zigzagged. To keep people above you all the time so a lot of the buildings used to be here are obviously gone and just been replaced with these flat open spaces which are quite nice grass grass is actually a rare thing in japan it's a pleasure when you find it lovely uh and there was a keep which is basically one of those secure buildings there used to be a keep on top of this wall here that was uh i think that the original uh, Shogun's castle was like 600 years old or something and this is um, the keep on top of this building was 500 years on top of this mountain or hill was 500 years old something like that but yeah destroyed a lot of these things were destroyed earthquake fire because they're built of wood the keeps were built of wood so fire and earthquake and uh, bombings during World War Two. you find that all over Japan actually this is interesting um, storehouse well, there was a sign outside that said it was rumoured to be a secret passage to somewhere, but the photo shows huge stone walls on the inside, so I think it was just seems to be just a storehouse for stuff, a really old one. But yeah, it is a bit sad when you move around Japan. There is a lot of uh, original castles. I showed you a video of the oldest standing castle in Japan on that playlist. Um, so there is some really classic old ones in perfect condition, but a lot of them were destroyed during World War Two, which is really sad and they've been replaced with copies um, yeah just showing you the trees guys big trees are rare in Japan have a look at this have a look at this this is outside one of those castle wars there's the samurai guys all standing around with their swords isn't that a classic outside this wall actually and here's another example you can see you walk up the path there and you turn right at the top to go through the gate which means that if you walk up there, you can have people firing down at you from three sides. And when you get closer to the wall, you've got people firing at you from four sides. So, um, yeah, classic defence. And this is a classic old wooden gate. This one's one of the original ones in good condition. And there's that running up the wall thing there, guys. Run up, the, Run up the steps and get up on top of the wall so you can shoot down. That's on the inside of the wall, of course. And then the big heavy timber there that they built the gates out of. So you can see why some of these aren't around anymore. You know, the natural enemy of these things was fire, of course. But like, look at this, huge hinges. Huge hinges and huge doors, really huge. And a big sliding bolt. So close the door and slide that across. 
quite amazing, isn't it? So there's your stairs again. So you can see when you're in the inside of these walls, that's why they've got the stairs. Once you get on the outside of the wall, there's nothing but sheer wall. So here we are, stairs up the wall, and then you can see those holes there, obviously, to fire from. So the guys would look through those holes, and they could fire arrows out through there. Here we are on the outside of the main wall on the bridge. And this is the outside. This is what they would have first approached, the first gate. So, you know, to get to the top, you'd have gone through 20 gates and passed, you know, 500 guys and a bunch of walls and, you know, sort of almost impregnable. And here's the modern defence. And I actually talked to that guy. He was an exceptionally nice policeman, that guy, as per usual. Anyway, hope you guys found that interesting. More videos coming soon.